Our phones are slowly destroying us. This is how we might be able to correct it. Here's an insane story for you. I actually remember in middle school the first time I ever held an iPhone. It was a summer night and me and two of my closest friends were hanging out on the trampoline. One of my friends then says, hey guys, check out my new phone, and he pulls out the first iPhone I had ever come in contact with. At that time, my cell phone, which I got as a Christmas present in seventh grade, looked like this. Compared to an iPhone, this little guy didn't really stack up. It's wild though, when I first got to hold an iPhone up close, it felt important. A couple years later, my parents gifted me an iPod Touch for my birthday, and while it isn't a phone, it pretty much is. One day, my friends and I all sat in my bedroom and just played mobile games at the same time. Doodle Jump, Fruit Ninja, Angry Birds, it was a blast. Little did I know that this innocent act would be the start of a serious problem for me for years to come. Fast forward to today. The uncomfortable truth is this, my phone has become a crutch. If I'm slightly uncomfortable or bored, I pull out my phone. Sometimes when I'm working or writing scripts for this channel, my phone lights up, I check a text, I open an app, and all of a sudden I've been scrolling for 20 minutes. I come to my senses, look up and think, how in the world did all that time pass? What's even more painful is when I recognize that I'm replacing real human connection with my phone. Sometimes I'll be hanging out, talking with my friends, you know, forming real human connections, and then when we get bored for five seconds, we all get sucked into our phones, completely distracted from one another. The culmination of all of these scenarios over time boils down to this, a brand new lesson learned for your brain. If you aren't being stimulated all of the time, then why bother? Our phones have this way of capturing our brains. Notifications, colorful apps, the exciting nature of scrolling, they drip feed your brain. Eventually, we've learned, even subconsciously, hey, this stuff is pretty good. And we turn that faucet more and more until eventually we look up and realize that we've just flooded our brain with way too much highly stimulating content. Our phones are slowly destroying us. This flooding of stimulation just changes the brain. I'm not a scientist, but I know that it can be pretty hard for me to focus pretty often. At this point in my life, it's really, really easy to be pulled away from anything mentally strenuous. I'm used to the constant gratification that my phone gives me, and I wanna go back to it. It's comfortable. At this point, if you're thinking what I'm thinking, then you're probably thinking this. Shit. Okay, no, but seriously, how can I fix it? At the end of the day, all of our brains are different. As I've gotten older, it's actually been easier for me to set my phone aside. Even still, there are days when I feel enslaved to it. In my case, I use my phone often for my job, which doesn't make things easier, and I'm still figuring out how to wrestle with that. I also understand that it's not like changes to something this complex can just happen overnight. If you recognize that some relief from your phone might be a good thing, then it'll likely take habit changes, trial and error, and a ton more to make that happen. But is there a good place to start? I just try what I call a reset going outside, petting my dog, or engaging with a friend. You can still reset with your phone on hand, too. I like filling my mind with something a little less erratic, like music. These things are simple and they're fulfilling while not being overstimulating. For me, these are great ways to reset. Learning to take moments out of your day in which you feel completely overstimulated and overwhelmed and just reset however you see fit is a great start and probably the hardest part. Over time, just like the drip feed of stimulation from your phone, your brain might start to look forward to these healthier interactions instead. Our phones are slowly destroying us. I do believe this, but I also believe that it's not written in stone.